<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Hi. So we got Evan here in the in the corner, and we got Steve over here. Hey. So we're trying to beat up the the devil out of Evan here. There's some in, something's in him. Uh, I was possessed. Yeah. yeah. If you guys know any uh, secret uh, techniques to removing a, a penis out of his mouth, let us know. <laughs> let us know. Cause he's freaking out here pretty bad. Uh, I'm not. I'm just like calming down now. Yeah? That's fine. Alright, cool. That was weird. So he was just uh, hysterically laughing, and then he <laughs> he looks, he's like, Arturo, I'm possessed. And he looks at me, and he just flinches his eyes. <laughs> right. It was the Arturo. scariest thing. That's How do you know my name? How do I know you're Evan? Arturo. Arturo. Don't see me. Uh. Uh, oh, you don't have this thing to set. Okay, we gotta change a couple things. <laughs> Very good. Nothing. Oh, it's okay. I will always. Until you become weird. Yeah. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Alright, we gotta. Remind me to change this to my understanding of Detroit because I need to be Detroit. What level does it evolve? Or? Actually, it was supposed to evolve already. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a little strange because it was supposed to already evolve. Level 16, I thought. Oh! Okay, here we go. Boom, Just boom, hit the B button. Boom, 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 boom. What is that? What? Deont is evolving? <laughs> what? He's like evolving in your backpack. <laughs> Fuse explodes. <laughs> nice. Bye bye. Charmeleons. Charmeleon. Sweet. All right. Cool. Thanks, dude. Charmeleon. Opera condies. I think if I switch over to Bob, Bob Booker. Robert. <laughs> we should... Robert. There Robert the Pikachu. Ah, oh, dang it. Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. And we're back with the Geodudes. Wow, look at this Geodude. Ooh. He's such a douche. Do you even lift, bro? <laughs> Just flexing on them haters. Do you lift? Uh, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> so we were uh, talking about your life and... Um, <clears throat> Mine or... Yours. Mine. Arturo. Oh, yeah. Um, and... You kind of had a funny story um, about like. Yeah, tell us about the stripper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not that one. Oh, the, the no, one in my basement. Uh, yeah, where you, um, where you did the dance with a person yeah. many times, right? And you had to restrain yourself by saying, "I have to grab my wiener and say, today's not your day." <laughs> <laughs> Evan's my favorite person. It's because he just gets me. Today is not your day. So, uh, what's, yeah. so what's the context behind that? Okay, so seriously, I... Okay, on all serious note... Um, Today some, is not your day. <laughs> yeah, like some women, I... You know, I, I try to go, like, you know, try to go out with them, and I try to, like, you know, uh, be as friendly as I can with them. But sometimes it doesn't work out. But, you know, my... Uh, let's just say the... Let's... Uh, how do we say this? The man downstairs mm -hmm. is uh, has a mind of its own, so it'll just like start working like clockwork, and then you know, jack in the box. Boop, boop, there it is. Um, I have to like literally have a talk with them. Yeah, I think I have to just choke. a conversation. I have to, yeah, I choke them out and like, okay, I know I know that's what you want, and you know, referring to like there's a girl like across the corner that I like, you know, I talk to and I like, you know, if there's an opportunity to get that booty. But you mean marriage, right? Marriage? No, just, <laughs> just, just get that booty. Well, you know, it's it's the double A standard. Yeah. It's either um, abstinence or anal. Oh, yeah. right, of course. <laughs> double A? <laughs> that's, that's Is that what double A batteries means? Oh, oh I see. A. It's just like always a rem a reminder. So like <laughs> abstinence or anal. I understand now. I understand now. I understand. I'm not gonna put a battery up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't expect you to, but um. No, well, okay, well, <laughs> going back to the conversation I had. Cool. No, I just, there's some ladies that like, it just didn't work out, so I literally have to have a conversation with the man downstairs and tell him, you know what? It's it's not today's not your day. It's not gonna happen. Please. The man upstairs. You're talking about God? The man downstairs. Oh. Say. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's, it's an allegory for my leader. 
Who you guys didn't catch that? <laughs> cool, making it awkward. Nice. Way to go, Steven. <laughs> what? Uh, you gotta put up the obvious. Sorry. I thought it was pretty obvious what I was saying. Uh, the ones Crude that you eat. Yeah, the ones that you eat. The ballpark ones. Not the, you know. Wait, what? The ballpark hot dogs. Or wiener dogs. Wiener dogs. What about them? That's what we're talking about, right? The hot dog? Ballpark? Ballpark hot dogs. What Just do you grab mean? it. You know when you grab a hot dog and you wiggle it? Like, I'm a vegan, it? I wouldn't know. You wiggle it like up and down? Yeah. What are you from, PETA? Are you Peter? That's oh, yeah, right. I'm vegan too, but I like the occasional steak. <laughs> I love steak! <laughs> <laughs> what was that from? Big Bang. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I think that was like the pilot episode of Big Bang. Was it? No. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 because Penny was telling them oh, yeah, I'm about, about their life. Like, I think I'm a Sagittarius or whatever. People think I'm a water sign, but whatever. Yeah. At one point, like, me and my dad had, um, like, the episodes, like, nearly memorized. Nice. So we could just quote the entire thing. Nice. What, for Big Bang Theory? Yeah. A book Damn. about authority. The whole thing. Oh, come on. Like, pretty much. Bazinga. <laughs> you fell for one of my classic cracks. <laughs> Buzz Anchors. Dun dun dun. Alright, give me Giovanni. Get lost, kid! Ha! I'm doing it for Johnny! <laughs> <laughs> wow, this looks exactly like the guy we fought earlier. What yeah. the heck? They actually only recruit the same people from the, with the same bases. Oh. Which is weird, but that's just how it is. What are the odds? I know, right? It's actually a lot higher than you think. Yeah. Because they're the same person. That's racist, Evan. <laughs> Racist against all That's team extremely members. racist. Oh, wow, cool. in 2018. Wow. I couldn't believe it. I try. I went to... Uh, I went down south, and I saw a lot of you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse what? me? What? You what? saw a lot of him? What do you mean? What, what do you mean by down about? south? Uh, don't you live in Taco Land? I live in Jalapeno Town. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Taco Land. <laughs> What is wrong with you? That's my. That's not even me. Yeah. Oh, that's his cousin, not him. My culture is not your prom dress. <laughs> you saw that? What is, oh, what is that from? You and didn't see the recent thing? It's like a meme. And, and then, like, oh, I just imagined him wearing his taco costume. There was a girl who wore a Chinese traditional dress to yeah. her prom. Is that wrong? Twitter. So, yeah. yeah. Twitter gave her a lot of crap. Why is it wrong? I mean, I don't think. It's I think it was just one dude got like yeah, really one dude. pissed. Yeah. And then like, uh, they just got a lot of reposts because it was funny. Mm -hmm. But is it really? like? It's not like... wrong. I mean, it's just a dress. <laughs> I mean, the guy didn't like it, but... But there were other Asian people, other Chinese people who said it was just fine. So. Yeah, like there's nothing wrong with it. It's just... No. It's just a matter of it. Well, a lot of people... No, not even that. It's just like, people don't like that like... You know, we live in a society now where like, there's a lot of different demographic and ethnicities, you know, here. Mm. So obviously there's a lot of crossover. So I think eventually that's gonna happen, you know, where someone's gonna wear something from their culture, which is fine. It's just that's what they do, but that doesn't mean that it's because like Delicious. you know, it's like they're doing it to piss you off. Because like yeah. I wore a cheeseburger on my head for like every single day and then other people started wearing cheeseburger on their head, I'd be pretty mad. Yeah. <laughs> like this like, has always been me. You know? Yeah. I mean, it would kind of make sense, but <coughs> I would hope other people wouldn't wear cheeseburgers on their heads like I do. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I assume. I assume. If there's hamburgers, I mean, that's a different story. Oh, right. Hamburgers are completely different. Yeah. Mm. Very different. Très different. Jorv! Oh, Jorv's gonna get some action tonight. No! <laughs> oh, you shot at me! No, you can't! Like, I've always liked this this guy's mustache. He's got a great mustache. It connects him to his uh, his muffin chops. Uh, what's a mu what? Do you so know what muffin chops are? A muffin chop? Muffin yeah. chops. This is the chops on your side. Yeah, the oh, big old yeah. uh, sideburns. Dude, one of one of the theater guys has it. Or yeah, had it at one point. I think it's Mike or something like that. Mike. <coughs> Mike. Oh, we should say our, our names in the uh, in Japanese. I don't even know my name. Evan Kun san. Yes. It's Ibon Kun. Ibon Kun. Ibon Kun. Ibon. Ibon. Ibon Kun. Arturo Renteria. There you go. Okay, my word. 
What do you want? What do you want this guy? Oh, yes. What do you want? So I recently discovered, rediscovered an old anime that I used to watch uh, back in the day, but I never figured out what it was. It's Outlaw Star, if you guys ever heard of it. Outlaw Star. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't watch it? No, you're missing out. Dude. It's good stuff. <laughs> and like, for one of the first couple episodes, like, oh, I hate anime. Yeah, no. Like, I don't like what's going on recently. Uh, I don't know if you've seen any recent anime season, but uh, I've seen a good amount where it's like, eh. Uh, just the old stuff just keeps doing it better. Like, they just, I don't know. I just haven't found anything that good in recent. Like, 2015, 2016 was like the height of it. And then, like, I don't know what the hell's going, even, even going on now. I just kind of stopped caring. <clears throat> what are, what's your favorite genre of anime? I don't care for a favorite genre. I just, I like, I'm just a fan of anime. Like, old school, oh, okay. old school animation. Um,. You've seen Akira, right? Yeah. I, that was so good, dude. I liked it, but I, I didn't like love it, if that makes oh, sense. Oh, okay. People love it. Like, I don't know. Like, I just didn't, I didn't get it. When did One Piece first come out? It was out? hard to follow. One, One Piece, I think, came out at... 2000, wasn't it? Early 2000 or late 1999. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's pretty go, old. Go, go. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's the four kids version. Yeah. The four kids version was the only version I watched. <laughs> it was awesome. I love that intro theme song. In the green line, gonna be king of the pirates. Dude, that was good. <laughs> oh wait, so they had the the dubbed version, like the really high pitched. I mean, it was still yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Like, it yeah. was good. A lot of people didn't like the dubbed version because it was too censored. Yeah. But... Oh yeah, yeah, I bet. But even so, like One Piece has evolved to be like its own on running, like it'll never end it's, kind of series. It's the. Um, most popular manga in Japan. Yeah. I just don't know if it'll even like, like, how do you keep making stories for that and stuff? It's ridiculous. Well, the entire story is like, <coughs> they just have to go to different islands until they find the um, freaking, whatchamacallit, One Piece. So, it lends itself to many different adventures just yeah. by the nature of the story. Which is pretty cool. It's just, that adventure is just like, Never ending. As long as you can keep coming up with new islands to go to, bam, you always have new stuff to do. That's true. Alright, I think we got like a couple more minutos here. Are you sure you're not gonna like spaz out with your dietary pills? No, I'm pretty sure. I mean, once in my butt, that's about it. Oh. <laughs> it's already in there, it's lodged. <laughs> oh. it's, it's a blue one. <laughs> what? <laughs> I put it in between the podcasts, I should have said. Uh, oh, is I didn't that think what I, you were doing on the floor? I didn't oh. think I had to say anything, but I guess I... Well, I kind of noticed when you... I mean, surprise! You always yell at me for, like, not having my pants on, but... I feel like... What? It just makes Stephen uncomfortable by having your pants off, too. Yeah, man. Come on. I thought I could just... I have an issue! I, I have need, a problem with my zinc. I don't it's need low. Some, some hairy man-ass. Ah! Man, come on. I'm gonna catch the clip here. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you give me that look? Like, I'm gonna clutch the Clefairy! Cause it's so Clefairy. cute! Does Jigglypuff evolve into Clefairy? It does not. Oh, okay. Jigglypuff, Wigglypuff, Kigglypuff, Miggly, Jiggly, <laughs> oh. Sig... Uh, Bigly Boo. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Kinda looks like Clefairy. Yeah, no. Jigglypuff is like more... a little bit more white. Do you white pigment. believe in love? <laughs> Arr, I guess tired. not. <laughs> Do you? It's true. Oh, I don't want to kill you, but like, this is my last Pokemon, <laughs> and if you don't get in, it's over. It's a male Jigglypuff. It one, looks like one. Two, three, ha! Gotcha! Yes, I got it. Hey, you got <coughs> it. Why are you trying to catch Clefairy? I love Clefairy. It's, it's one of your favorites. It's a pretty good, like, um, pretty great normal type, I should say. All right. Uh, Wait, you didn't name it? Oh, you have to name it. I thought I did name it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I, I hit it I'm so gonna, fast. Gotta name it. We should name it. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm going to bang my head against this wall some more. <laughs>